Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Tiana. I am an American living in France and I make videos all about my experience living here as a foreigner, my travels, Paris life, things like that. So if that's something that interests you, stick around on this channel. Lots of fun stuff coming up. Today, I am coming at you guys with an in-depth video about everything you need to know about moving to Nice in the French Riviera. I made a cost of living in Nice video about month ago which got quite a few more views than I expected and you guys left tons of questions on that video that I hadn't addressed or hadn't even thought of so I thought I would make an in-depth video covering everything you need to know about Nice, cost of living, things to do, best neighborhoods to live in, worst neighborhoods to live in, is it safe, how to find a job, how to find housing, what to do in Nice, what foods to try in Nice. Everything like that will be covered in today's video so if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you go ahead ahead and click on that subscribe button, smash the like button, and stick around to the end of this video. So before I answer some questions about Nice, I'm going to go into a little bit of history about Nice because it's a popular place, but also not a lot of foreigners know about it. I think when most people think of France, they think of just Paris. So let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory about Nice. So Nice is actually the seventh most populated city in France with over 1 million inhabitants. And it is located in the Alpes Maritimes department, which is the 06 region. It's located in the French Riviera in the Southeast of France. And it's located on the coast at the foot of the French Alps and the Mediterranean Sea. So the Alps Maritimes area is literally where the French Alps, the bottom of the French Alps meets the Mediterranean Sea. And Nice spreads across an area of about 287 square miles and it is approximately 8.1 miles from the Principality of Monaco and 19 miles from the French Italian border. So now that you know a little bit of history about Nice and where it's located, let's dive in to everything you need to know when considering moving to Nice. First, cost of living. Nice is not a cheap city by any means. France in general is fairly expensive compared to some of the other countries in Europe and Nice is no different, especially being that it's on the sea, it's a tourist town, it has perfect weather, it can get pretty expensive. I did make a full video about this already, like I said, the cost of living in Nice. So I'm just gonna say what I was paying when I lived there was around 1600 euro per month. I was living off of, I was not living lavish by any means, but I had a studio apartment to myself. I was able to buy groceries every month and pay the bills that I had and still had money to do things. So it was a very, very modest lifestyle, um, but I was able to make it work. Of course, depending on your lifestyle, you can expect to spend way more. You can expect to spend less if you don't have the same lifestyle as me, but yeah, you can find way more information about that in my cost of living video. So if you have not seen that already, I would recommend going to check that out. What are the best neighborhoods to live in and what are the worst neighborhoods to live in? So I have made a list of some of the best neighborhoods and some of the worst neighborhoods in my opinion to live in in Nice. Like I said, this is completely my opinion. This is based off of a little bit of my opinion, a little bit of research from what other people in the area think the best neighborhoods to live in are. So of course, do your own research by all means. Don't just take my opinion, but this is just what I think some of the best and worst places to live are. So for the best neighborhoods, we have View Nice. This is the old town of Nice. It's very central. There's lots of bars and restaurants. There's tons of students there. It's very, very lively, especially during the summer. That's pretty much where everything happens. It's in the old town of Nice. So that's a good place to be if you're really sociable or if you're young and you like to be around a lot of people and like to be close to a lot of events, that's a good place to be. Next, we have the port. So the port is a little bit more calm. There still are some restaurants and bars over in that area, but it's a lot more chill than it is in View Nice. It's nicer and it's a little bit more expensive because it's the port. So you have a lot of people who leave their yachts and their boats there. So it's a little bit more of a up class kind of residential area with that's a little bit more expensive to live but it still is a good option next you have Jean Médecin so this is close to Vieux Nice it's in the center of the city so Jean Médecin is a long street 
in Nice that has restaurants, cafes, shops, malls on both sides. So it's very, very popular. You can find lots of people in this part of town pretty much at any time of day going shopping, going to cafes. So it's very, very, very busy, but it's very central and it's not too far from the train station, which is nice. So you're close to the shops, you're not that far from the beach and you're close to the train station. So it's a very good place. It's very well located and a nice place to be. Next, we have the promenade or the beach. So obviously if you live on the promenade des anglais you're right by the beach literally you can see the beach from your front yard basically the front yard is your beach essentially there are really nice views but obviously this is really touristy because again it's on the promenade des anglais which is a long strip along the beach with tons of bars and restaurants next to it so that's obviously where all the tourists go when they come to visit so it can get pretty pricey if you are looking for a place on the promenade especially if you want a view of the beach next we have some of the not so good neighborhoods to live in so the not so good neighborhoods to live in are la rien des moulons and nice nord which is basically anywhere near the train station like right near the train station these are some not so good areas to live in you can find a bunch of like petty crimes that go on and so it's just not the best place to be um, try to stay away from those areas if you can what is there to do in Nice there are quite a few things to do in Nice there's lots of sightseeing that you can do there as far as in Nice itself you have the Colline du Chateau which is Castle Hill in English and it's a hill basically <laughs> there's no castle up there but there's a hill that you can hike up to and you can see all of the city and it's a really, really, really cool spot to see the city, to see the sea and the Promenade des Anglais. It's such a nice view up there. So yeah, that's a cute little spot to hike up to. Also, you have the Promenade des Anglais. Obviously, like I mentioned before, it's a long strip where people can walk down people go running all the time in the mornings like right along the beach you have a strip of bars and restaurants and clubs and that's a really popular place for people to hang out as well even at night like when all the clubs close people leave the clubs and they just go sit on the beach for hours and you can literally be at on the beach at like 3 a.m. and there will be hundreds of people like sitting on the beach with friends, playing music, drinking, just hanging out. Sometimes people are even swimming at three o'clock in the morning. Like it's a cool place to be. We have Bunice, like I mentioned earlier. There's tons of bars in this area. It's very central. It looks very old and the buildings are super cool and there's this Mediterranean feel to all the buildings and it's a really cute place. Even to just walk around and like look at all the buildings and the different colors and the architecture is really cool. Cursalea, which is like a flower market. They have every Saturday near Vunis in Place Massena and yeah, they sell flowers every Saturday. I think they have like fresh fruits and vegetables and spices sometimes too. It's really cute, really cute every Saturday. Those are some ideas of things to do inside of Nice, but you also have some sightseeing and stuff to do outside of the city as well. So if you like hiking, if you're a sporty gal, unlike me, and you like to hike, there are tons of hikes near Nice, not too far. So there's Pic du Lourdes, there's Tête du Chien, and there is Aspremont or Mont Chauve. So these are all super popular. I've done the first one, kind of, and it was not so difficult, but also not so easy. I survived, it wasn't that difficult. Tête du Chien, I see a lot of people do this one, but this one, I've heard it's really hard because it's like straight up. A lot of influencers like get super dressed up and then they literally just drive to the top to get a picture of the view and like all decked out and their cute little outfits and their full face of makeup so yeah you can do that you can drive to the top just to get your photo or you can actually do the hike i've never done either one unfortunately i never had a chance to go up there but i've seen pictures and the view is so nice the next one is Aspremont, which I have done. It's super cool. I will post a picture up here somewhere. Um, that hike was pretty easy and there was a really cool scenery. You can see all of the city and it's not as common. So there wasn't a ton of people when I went, which was nice. It was very chill, like laid back. Some other things to do around the city. Some other towns to visit around the city. There are tons of smaller towns around Nice that are actually really nice and really cool to see. So I think that's what most people do, honestly, 
who live in Nice, a lot of the times they spend their time in the smaller cities around Nice. Like Villefranche-sur-Mer, that city is so beautiful. Villefranche is the next city right after Nice, on your way like towards Monaco and towards Italy, and it's such a beautiful city. The water is so clear, the landscape is beautiful, the architecture, oh. If I moved back to the south of France, I would try to move to Villefranche, I think. It's incredible. Cap d'Aille aussi, also. Cap d'Aille also is gorgeous. The water, it's like this turquoise color. It's so pretty, the beaches. Oh. They have a lot of like beach clubs and restaurants there too with great views, so that's really fun. They can get a bit pricey, but I think it's worth it because you have a really nice view. And then you have Monaco, of course. Cannes and Antibes. These are also cool places to visit. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit more expensive, but I personally think that the scenery in the city on the east of Nice, like towards Italy and Monaco, are a lot prettier. They tend to be a lot less crowded and more calm, so I definitely recommend going to those cities like Villefranche, Cap d'Aille, Montan, Monaco, versus like Cannes, Antibes, Joan le Pont. They usually have a ton of people. They're still nice cities, but they're usually a lot more crowded, more people, and the scenery and the beaches are not that great compared to what you can find on the other side of Nice. Okay, let's talk about nightlife. So in Nice itself, there's not a huge nightlife culture. There are bars, there are a few like clubs, I guess you could say, but they're really small. They're really like student oriented. So you'll find a lot of young people. It's not really like a place where you would dress up and like go out with friends to this big like fancy upscale place it's definitely not like that it's more geared to like students bar vibes chill they play music and like will dance but it's like just chill vibes you know whereas if you go to like can or monaco you can find like traditional nightclubs where you can buy a table and have to pay a cover and have to be dressed to impress and you can expect to spend a lot of money like that's more what you can find in can or monaco but in nice I've never been to a place like that in Nice. It's more just like dive bar music type chill vibes, you know? Some other things to do in Nice. There are some really easy day trips that you can take outside of Nice. So we have the Gorge du Verdon, which is this really cool place. I've never been. I wanted to go so bad, but I never got around to going. But the water is like turquoise. It looks so cool. You can go paddle boarding through these canyons with this turquoise water. And it's just amazing. The scenery looks so nice. And I really wish I would have had the chance to go there because honestly, it looks so cool. It's about two and a half hours by car and it is a little bit difficult to get there on public transport so if you don't have car this might be not so easy to get to but definitely consider maybe renting a car and just going for the day definitely a place worth seeing i think next is san remo italy or Ventimille, italy so like i said before nice is only 18 miles from the french italian border which is really cool because that means it takes only like 20 minutes to get to italy and you could literally just go to italy for the day like oh i think i want pasta for lunch let's go over to italy or like I want a really good coffee for breakfast this morning. Like, let me just hop on the train and head on over to Italy really quick. So I have done Ventimille, which is the first city in Italy right after you pass the French border. And that's about 25 minutes by train. And then you have San Remo, which is a little bit of a bigger city. And that's like 10 or 15 extra minutes once you get to Ventimille. So about 25 to 35 minutes either one. And the ticket is like eight euros. So it's so inexpensive. It's so worth it to just go for the day, spend the day there, do some sightseeing, say you went to Italy. Like it's so insane how you literally just travel for 20 minutes and you're in a whole new country and they speak a whole new language and the culture is so different. So I definitely think that is something worth doing for sure. Next you have Saint Tropez, which I'm sure you've all have heard of. It's been glamorized so much in movies and shows and whatever. It's about one and a half hours by car. They have have nice beaches there they have beach clubs but it is very expensive so you can expect to pay tons and tons of money I know it's super popular in summer obviously that's when everyone goes to the beach uh, I don't know about the rest of the year if it's as popular or if things are even open there I have never been but that is definitely something you could look into uh, it's always cool to just go and say I went to Saint-Tropez you know who doesn't want to say that 
especially when it's so easy to get to like you might as well you know next we have some famous niçoise foods to try so french food in general is just in a league of its own but each region of france actually specializes in their own food so nice has its own food that it's known for as well a few of the foods that are famous in nice that you have to try to be a real niçoise are the following Soka. Soka is like this pancake type thing that's made out of chickpea flour. It's really, really popular. It tastes pretty good. It kind of looks like pita bread or something similar to that. Next, we have a salad niçoise. This is really popular throughout all of France. You can find this pretty much in any cafe. Um, even in Paris, they have these. And it's just a regular lettuce green salad with tomatoes, green peppers, hard-boiled eggs, tuna or anchovies, and olives. So that is a salad niçoise. I have never tried this because I don't like tuna and... Okay, I like tuna, but it's not like raw tuna. It's like the canned kind of tuna, you know? Like, you know, the canned tuna. Not like raw sushi kind of tuna. It's like canned tuna in a salad or anchovies. I don't like either of those, so... I've never tried this, but it is a famous niçoise food, so... You might as well try it if you do end up going to Nice. And then the last food is Pisse Saladière. And this is like a little tart made with sautéed onions and anchovies. So I have tried this one. It's okay. I tried it just to say I could, you know, just to say I tried it because I was living in Nice. Uh, it wasn't my favorite because I don't love anchovies, but it wasn't bad either. So it's worth trying. There's also tons of really good seafood, obviously, because we're right on the sea. So if that is your thing, like it is mine, you are in luck because the seafood in Nice is so good. Next, finding housing in Nice. How do we find somewhere to live in Nice? How easy is it? How hard is it? Finding somewhere to live in Nice can be easy or it can be difficult. It honestly really just depends on what you're looking for, what your budget is, your salary, even like your visa type sometimes can come into play when looking for a place. But the best places to go to look for a place to live in Nice are definitely Facebook groups, real estate offices. There's plenty of websites that you can check out like Le Bon Coin, Solage, so many. I made a complete video about this recently in my niece studio apartment tour. I gave you some tips on how to look for housing, what to look for, what to look out for, what websites to go to, things to ask, documents that you will need. So definitely go check that out. It's a lot more in depth and there's a list of like 10 or 15 websites that you can use to find a place so go check that out next finding jobs in nice how do we find a job in nice so there are two main types of industries in nice so most of the jobs are in either of these two industries so you have the technology industry which is really popular in nice and then the hospitality industry so this is like retail food bars restaurants even like yachts so working on a yacht as like a stewardess or just a crew member on a yacht or hotels as well is another big one these are the two main sectors where most of the jobs fall into so the job prospects are great in the summer because nice is a huge touristy place pretty much all of france comes to the south of france in the summer because we have the best weather and you know everyone wants to be on the beach in the summer so it's great if you are there in the summer and you have you work in the hospitality field you'll have no problem finding a job there's so many jobs there in the summer however in the rest of the year it's not so easy there's a lot less job prospects there's a lot less work in the rest of the year especially if you're a foreigner coming to france you're not really the first pool of applicants that they're choosing from so it does get a little bit more difficult but some places where you can find jobs websites like indeed le bon coin there's welcome to the jungle that is where i found my current job that i'm working at now here in paris that's a really good site and then there's tons of facebook groups as well so there's like expats living in nice americans living in france there's this group called english speakers on the riviera that i was a part of when i lived in france i'll leave the link to that group down below I actually got a job offer from someone who posted in that group that I responded to so that is a really good option for people looking for jobs because a lot of people look on the websites but they don't think to look on Facebook groups or like word of mouth and that's usually where most people find most of their jobs from so definitely check that out next let's talk about safety how safe is Nice what is the safety score I had to do a little bit of research for this one so according to travelsafeabroad.com 
case is fairly low risk when it comes to being at risk for crimes. So it has a pretty good safety score. So for violent crime, there's a low rating, so that's good. There's not any really violent crime that goes on in these. For terrorism risk, it got a medium risk rating. There was a, the big terrorist attack in 2016 on the Promenade des Anglais, where there was like um, a truck that drove down the promenade and it killed a bunch of people and it was terrible. That was a huge event that happened in Nice. And then also just last year, in I think October 2020, there was a church stabbing. So some random person just walked into a church and started stabbing people. So yeah, there have been a few terrorist incidents in, in France in general, but in Nice as well. So you can find lots of like military and police officers patrolling the streets with their huge like guns, usually like patrolling a lot of the big touristy areas, but thankfully there hasn't been any other kinds of attacks, big attacks recently or while I lived there. For scams in Nice, it's relatively medium risk. There's like scams in any big city. Of course, just be vigilant. Unfortunately, I don't have any specific examples of scams in Nice at the moment. I know of a few scams in Paris, but I don't didn't really see the same scams happening in Nice. So yeah, just always be vigilant, of course. Most Mugging risk is low, which is good. Pickpocket risk is medium. So again, pretty much the same in any country, especially on the public transportation or when it's super crowded. Like in the summer, there's a lot of tourists. It gets really crowded. Nice alleyways are really tiny. So there's a lot of people in a small area. So of course, just be mindful and keep an eye on your stuff. And when you go to the beach as well, don't just leave your stuff hanging out. Like, you know, be careful. So for overall safety, I would give Nice a 7.5 out of 10. It is relatively safe. I felt pretty safe there. Again, I'm a single woman. I lived alone in Nice and there were many times when I had to walk back home at night, like 20, 25, 30 minute walk home in the middle of the night by myself. Do I recommend this? No, I do not, but sometimes you have no other choice and you have to get home. You got to do what you got to do. So yeah, there were a few times where I walked home by myself at night. Nothing bad ever happened to me. No one ever came up to me or bothered me. Of course, I always tried to stay mindful, always kept my eye, eye on my surroundings, stayed vigilant, didn't walk with my headphones in. Like, you know, you got to pay attention. You have to still take precautions, but I felt relatively safe, more safe there than I do now in Paris. So some tips for staying safe in Nice. Like I said, just use common sense. Don't accept anything from anyone. Even if they say, oh, it's free, it's a gift for you. Like the little street sellers, don't take it. it nothing is ever free. They're gonna ask you for money somehow. It's not gonna end well. So just don't take anything from strangers. Be vigilant, keep your eyes on your stuff at all times. Try not to leave things in your pockets, especially your back pockets. Don't leave anything valuable in there. If you have a backpack on you, you when you get on the public transportation just try to put it in front of you and hold it or if you're walking in like crowded streets try to do the same thing just to make sure no one's like sticking their hands in your backpack and try to avoid the alleys in view nice at night so view nice has tons of like little alleyways in between the buildings and they're super cute during the day but at night they can be super sketchy and really dark and obviously you don't want to be walking in alleys at night so yeah try to avoid that if you can some overall pros and cons about nice so for the pros the weather of course one of my favorite things about living there was the weather pretty much all year round it felt nice like it was sunny of course sometimes it got cold sometimes it rained but like not really a lot. And I'm from California originally, so the weather really reminded me of California weather. So I really liked that because I don't like the cold. I don't like the rain. I get really depressed in the winter. So living in Nice was really good for me because there was sun all the time. Next pro, it's slightly cheaper than Paris. It is still kind of expensive, like I said, compared to other cities in France or even other cities in Europe, but I found it to be less expensive than Paris. And the next thing is there's lots of scenery and nature. So you have mountains, you have greenery, you have the sea, and even like the buildings and the architecture, it's not like typical French scenery like or typical French architecture. Mediterranean architecture has a completely different vibe and a completely different feel and it's not like traditional French buildings like you would see in Paris and other big cities throughout France. It really has its own flair and its own style and I really liked that. Easy transportation, you have the tram, you have the bus, you have the airport which is really 
really close by and it's all super easy to navigate so I liked that a lot because I don't have a car here so it's important for me it's imperative for me to live in a city that has easy really good running public transportation next pro I put it's basically Italy which yes it's true you have the best of both worlds you live in France but you can take a 20 minute train ride and be in Italy or you can take a 10 minute train ride and be in Monaco which is a complete other country Monaco a lot of people don't know is actually not part of France it's its own country so you can be in France Monaco and Italy all in one day you can visit three countries in one day just if you live in Nice <laughs> not a lot of people get to say that about where they live next pro is I found that the people are a little bit nicer they're more calm they're less stressed and it's just overall generally a slower paced lifestyle than it is in bigger cities like Paris I think when you have great weather all year round and you live by the beach there's not too much to complain about you know most people are doing okay they're chilling they're not so stressed compared to Paris is not at all like that I find the people here to be stressed they're always in a rush and everyone's angry yeah I definitely preferred that about Nice all right now we have some cons there's not much to do when it's not summer so like I said Nice is amazing in the summer it's really popular there's tons of tourists everyone from all over Europe and all over other parts of France comes there so there's lots of events there's lots to do the rest restaurants are always open but in the rest of the year there's not tons of things to do like I said there's a lot of scenery so you can always find something to do outside like a hike or something but outside of that there's not tons of events or art galleries or museums or things like that that you could visit like you might be able to do in other big cities another con is there's not a lot of young people so Nice is kind of like where everyone goes to retire so there's a lot there's a huge old population but not so many young people but that's not to say that there's no young people because of course there are universities in Nice so you can find young people there's lots of students but I think the majority of the population is on the older side so something to think about another con about living in Nice there are lots of tourists in the summer this is not too much of a big deal but like I said the, the streets in Nice especially in Vieux Nice are really really tiny and really narrow so it can be really really annoying when there's tons of tourists and the, everyone's jammed into these tiny streets and when you have somewhere you need to be or you're in a rush and you're trying to walk down the street Street. It's impossible when there's so many people. It can be a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It's not that big of a deal. And the last con that I have for you guys is that it can be a little bit superficial. Like I said millions of times, Nice is not a cheap place to live. And Monaco, which is not far from Nice, is what we call a fiscal paradise. So people go there to not pay taxes. So this area in general has tons of people who just have tons of money and they like to buy nice cars and drive down the street and wear nice clothes and just like fly all the money that they have and so a lot of the people living here can have this mentality of like they just like nice cars and money and showing off how much money they have so it can be seen as like a little bit superficial and a lot of the people there can have that mentality but for the most part I think most people aren't like that but it is something to keep in mind so now that you guys know pretty much everything that you need to know about living in Nice you are ready to move and start your new life on the French Riviera I recently moved so unfortunately I'm not in Nice anymore but I am back living in Paris now and I'm so so excited to make more Paris content for you guys. I moved back here to start a master's program in Paris which I'm doing for 100% free no cost which sounds so weird to say and I'll be making a video for you guys next week on how I'm able to go to school in France and get my master's degree for free and how I found a job here in France that I'm doing while while I'm going to school so I'm actually getting paid while I'm going to school for free so I'll be making a video next week about my application process how I found the school how I found the job and how you can do the exact same thing if you want to move to France and go to school for free I hope you guys like this video I hope you found it helpful as always leave any questions down in the comments below and I will see you next week mm -hmm.